right, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the Akashic Records reading for June. So this is a reading I do monthly. We're gonna tap into the Akashic Records, the Akashic Tarot. We're also gonna get divine spirit messages for our divine spirit and we're gonna end it with pure love from spirit. But already I'm getting, there's so much that's changing. There's so much advancing and changing and they are also making sure that we're up for it. That's what I'm getting as I set up. So much is changing and advancing and inside and out and they're making sure that we are up for it. So keep that in your mind and heart as we go forward in June. If you didn't see the monthly readings for June and even the week of last week of May, even the Spirit Pick Me Up reading, there's so much that's changing, advancing. They wanna make sure inside and out that we feel up for it. Literally, they were like, no, the sun is shining on you from inside and out. Um, there's so much changing and advancing. So let's tap into the Akashic Records now and just clear out and see what's going to come out for June. I couldn't wait to do this reading because of the monthly reading, overall reading for June. Uh, it was the most positive up reading in a year, literally, in a, in a whole year. So let's tap into the Akashic records right now for June, tapping into the Akashic Records, what are the messages that want to come through for June, for our journey, for our minds and hearts, tapping into the Akashic Records for June to give us clarity. They always say, trust the path you are on now, you're never really lost. Don't trust your physical senses, you're being guided by your intuition. Our divine headlights, is a, it's our divine compass through this time. We're not going by the physical, we're being divinely guided. They actually also had said very clearly that it's through our intuition that we're being guided to manifest. Like the moves to make, how to go, it's your direct guidance. They're getting very specific. I'm going through the whole deck. Okay, two, just so much came out. The War of the Roses, Hilarion, and Eight of Forces, the Lightning Bolt. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. So I have to say five is hilarious. When I say five, I think of changes and transformation. Five is the major arcana. We have eight of forces, the lightning bolt. This is like, talk about like sudden changes or flashes here. Um, six of roses, the war of the roses. Um, okay, let's just tap right into it for June. Okay, six of roses, upright storm clouds gather in the sky. Two lines of mounted knights stand at the ready, facing each other across a clear field of battle. The left side carries the banner of the white rose and the right carries the red. This card depicts a war within a relationship or a battle within your heart about a relationship. And most often this relationship is romantic in nature, but this card could also refer to a coworker, a partner, a boss, a family member. Um, there could be power plays at the very least. There is a lack of recep oh, reciprocality and communication. You are at an impasse. It's your intuition or your spirit, the white rose, has told you that this experience is not a supportive one, but your passions, fears, and needs, the red rose, keep you from listening. You have tried to bring the two together as indicated by the dirty flag with the combined white and red rose on the ground. But what's happening in this relationship is not compatible with your spirit's view for you. So there you stand, your spirit and your passions just watching and waiting. This situation is nothing less than karmic and it's time to listen and take action. Awareness, vision, and self-honoring are required now for you to position yourself best and make plans to leave the battlefield. So we're getting divine, listen to your divine intuition to leave the battlefields. This is like inside and out that we're being guided. Akashic forces, close your eyes and see or sense a person with whom you have some type of relationship. It can be any relationship that's happening in your life. Imagine that person handing you a rose. Is the rose vibrant or wilted, large or small, bright or dark, happy or sad? What message do you receive from this rose? But I love this part about there are situations happening right now, the battles are karmic and we're leaving the battlefield. It's the spiritual, our intuition is telling us to leave these battles and the battlefield, literally. And here's the major arcana, the transformation of just doing that, the change that it takes, the transformation to leave the old battles, to leave and rise above it, rise above it in spirit and leave the battlefield. So the major arcana is, I can't even believe, five hilarious. So upright seen here with spirit and the implements of study 
and scientific discovery. Hilarion is a powerful ascended master and a wonderful connection to the font of information that the Akashic records hold. He is the master of research, of science, truth, healing, logical mind, concrete knowledge, and spirit communication. That's why our intuition is telling us, our connection to spirit is telling us to leave the battlefields. Forget the old battles. Forget the karmic battles. We're leaping out. That's the transformation. Um, so if you've been thinking about pursuing an endeavor in these areas, it's now the time to start. Like the angels and the other masters, Hilarion is always available to you. And receiving this card upright is telling you that his assistance is close at hand. If you are working on a project that requires research, a strong academic approach, and attention to detail, it's full steam ahead. What did I say? We have the angels, the masters, everything backing us to leave the battlefields and forge for the new. We have their backing and assistance for the changes, the advancing, everything. They're making sure we're up for it, leaving the old battles and going with what we're getting intuitively. It, they're saying it's time to open to this master's energy. Time to open up to the master's energy to leave these old battles and battlefields. This is a recurring message. I won't even name it that. It's time to open to master's energy. If you have a job that involves any type of evidence detection and drawing conclusions from that discovery, these types of jobs, like scientific research, mediumship, forensic activity, law, medical testing, and more. All those skills that are needed right now, right, to make things better and heal. These and similar activities should be on the rise for you now. Yes, they're asking us to leave the old battles and make it better. That's the transformation, the advancement. They want us to be up for it. We have the assistance of, look at all these guides and masters. Become the master. Become the master. It's time to open up to master's energy. This is a time to bring a logical approach to all your pursuits. Hilarion is right there with you, blessing you with help, clarity, and direction. Oh my God, direction to leave the battles <laughs> and um, claim the assistance and rise up for it and, and take hold of that master's energy. Akashic Forest, close your eyes and sense the master Hilarion beside you. Feel your energy lift. Like they said, they want us to be up for it. So. Feel your energy lift and your vibration quicken. Notice a new mental energy of alertness and easy understanding. Your mind is open like a boundless sky and everything becomes clear and bright. Bring that brightness to any issue in your life that needs clarity right now. Rise up with the masters. Rise up like a master with the masters. That's basically what they're saying. Leaving the old battles in the past, rising up. Uh, rising up with that kind of energy, knowing that you're backed, you're supported. Um, literally, sense Master Hilarion beside you. Feel your energy lift, your vibration quicken. Notice you, that you have new alertness, easy understanding. Your mind's open like a boundless sky. Everything is becoming clear and bright. Look, we're getting the lightning bolt. Make way for the eight of forces, the lightning bolt. This is, this is like the powerful forces that are coming in. Like if we're the tree opening up to these flashes of insight, of new light, wisdom, bolts. Um, that's getting us out of, zapping us out of these old battles. I mean, this is what I'm getting, okay? This is incredible. This is the new advancement. Be up for it, what I said in the beginning. Lightning bolt. A lightning bolt illuminates a stormy night sky, striking a tree down to its core. Puddles of rain pool upon the ground. This card shows that it's a time of splitting apart, a time of lost disappointment, even a metaphorical death. You may be feeling wounded, grieved, gravely disappointed. The loss could be a career opportunity, a romantic relationship, partnership, creative project, friendship. At first glance, this event may seem sudden or unexpected, but the light that flashes, in the light that flashes, we see the deep puddles of a storm that has been going on for some time. We need it to be zapped out of these battles. You've probably been aware of the threat or difficulty at some level, even if you were unwilling to acknowledge it before. But now it's time to accept the situation and not fight what so. There is benefit coming, but it often takes an ending to bring forth a new beginning and a storm to cleanse the field, a storm to cleanse the field. The storm is clearing the battlefield, the word the road from before lifting up with spirit um, we have the backing of the masters that's why we're being split apart for the new beginnings to so literally like they said there is benefit coming it often takes an ending to bring forth a new beginning and a storm to cleanse the field this is the storm to cleanse that field the battles Akashic Force is imagine a lightning bolt striking nearby, leaving some destruction in its wake. Now close your eyes and with a deep breath, feel the energy of lightning stir within you. 
It's almost as if the finger of God is yours to employ. How do you want to direct this energy in your life? We're being zapped with master energy. Do you see that? To cleanse the fields of the old battles for the new beginning. We're being zapped with master energy. You're being touched with the finger of God to be served within, to um, get off this old battlefield, to rise up for the new. Um, that's literally what they're saying. So let's just get one more because after we're zapped in June, we, that's part of the new beginning. We've got two more. We have five of keys, wishes fulfilled, and eight of keys. The master artis artisan. We are the workers here. The, we are the work. Do you see why we're being zapped? We're getting out of the old battles. I have chills. The, for the change and transformation, we have master's energy, the finger of God on us, striking us at our core to get off the battlefields, to do the work, wishes fulfilled. This is the keys. They're zapping us with the energy to be up for it, to get to work, be the master. Oh my God. They're zapping us with master Hilarion energy. They said, grasp the master energy and you're the master artisan, the master crafter, the master worker being up for it. You've been zapped with master energy. That's what I want to say. Like you've been infused with master energy to do the work and wishes fulfilled. We're doing it with our energy. Um, we're leaving the old battlefields. We've been zapped to our core with master energy, and then we're doing the work. We're crafting wishes fulfilled. We're literally being zapped with the master energy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my God. This is what I'm saying when they said we're making sure that you're up for it. Making sure that you're up for it. I mean, no joke. Making sure that you're up for it. Doing the work and the actions. Being zapped with master energy. You're now the master artisan. You see that? You have the backing of the masters here. They've infused you with that force and that energy. You've been zapped. Um, I don't know what else to say. Upright. The master artisan. Oh my gosh, inside a bright and bustling artisan's workshop, apprentices are busy at their workbenches, which are arrayed with the beautiful fruits of their labors. The master artisan pours a number of beautiful shining gems into the open hands of one of his apprentices. This card indicates that you now have the opportunity to offer your talents, your purpose, and your gifts to the world, making a, a contribution to many. Like they always say, you're being divinely used at this time. That's why you're being zapped with master energy to be masterfully used. Don't be shy and don't hold back what you have to share. It's not the time to hide your light under a basket. As a matter of fact, you may now find yourself teaching or training your skill set to others. You may also be demonstrating your gifts and performing your talents publicly. Even if your gifts lie in the ability for loving, compassionate care, you will be sharing these gifts with others. In this period of time, you can build your reputation and take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. So take action, put yourself out there, let yourself shine. There is much beauty and empowerment for you to bring to the world. They're giving us this master energy to be shared, master energy to be shared. Do you see? Akashic Records, close your eyes and feel yourself filled with all the gifts you have to share with the world. Sense those energies through, pour through your heart and mind and out to the people around you like a divine master here. Feel the ease of the sharing. Feel the ease of the sharing. You cannot be drained for all that you give flows back to you unceasingly to create, return, do the sharing frequently. You're backed by Hilarion. Do you see that? And wishes fulfilled for yourself and others. I mean, you cannot make this up. I have chills. Wishes fulfilled. The scene is a bright filled storeroom, a larder for sizable and a successful estate. Inside are keys and coins and wines and spices. Hold on a second. Also within the room, I'm like speeding up. I have chills and waves. Also within the room are a number of baskets filled with a bounty of fruits, vegetables, breads, flowers, sugars, grains. Even the many windows look out at the expanse of your world. This card is a sign that the time has come for your wishes to be fulfilled, your dreams to be realized. Difficulties may have challenged you for a time, but even in these, victory is assured. There is an abundance of sweet nourishments and acquired lands coming. The keys to the castle are yours. Celebrate. And the Akashic forces close your eyes and feel someone hand you a set of golden keys. One of them opens the most important door before you. Open the door and see what lies ahead. Do you see that? We have masters backing. You're being, um, you have masters backing for what you're doing. Literally, pour it out. Pour it out. The master artisan backed by the masters. It's you're being infused with like master energy to be divinely used and shared. 
Share your master energy. Share your master's energy. Oh my gosh, wishes fulfilled. We're all doing our piece, our part by the work you're doing, what you're pouring out. Refield zapped. We're getting off the old karmic battlefields and rising up. They're making sure we're up for it. They're zapping us with this master energy, this backing, the support to rise up and be the master here, the master crafter, the master worker, being that divine channel of master energy. Wishes fulfilled because of it. We're creating the bounty. We're creating the victory, the success all of us together collectively let's end it with the divine spirit messages of what we um, want to bring forth to help us at this time for our divine spirit being back by yeah you no longer need that in your life talking about this battlefield the six of roses you can accomplish this master artisan you are being backed and supported you no longer needed that in your life we're leaving rise up out of the battlefield the old battlefield we're claiming the victory um, we're going forward and fused with master backing, even the energy itself to be the master here by what you're doing, the outpouring. Um, you're like the master's outpouring for the success and the bounty here. So feel backed and supported through these, what we're going for. It's a new bounty. You can accomplish this. That's the backing and support. You can accomplish this. Trust what you're feeling. Like I said, your intuition, lots of times this lightning bolt we're being infused, it's through our intuition. Where Trust what you're feeling when you feel divinely supported and backed. Whether it's by your energy, by your intuition, your divine ideas. Trust what you're getting, what you're feeling, because that's how we're divinely connected. Like I said, your intuition is your direct guidance for manifesting. And they said you're the master artisan. So they're helping you. Keep your thoughts at the highest levels now. So this is, as you're going and being the master artisan, trust what you're feeling because you're with your creations, you're outpouring, you're tapped in, you can accomplish this. Keep your thoughts at the highest levels now. You want to stay connected to Hilary and the masters as you keep going. Look, don't be afraid to let go of things that need to be let go because they're part of the old battlefield. You know what I mean? We're leaving that, claiming new victories. So feel back supported, energized even, tapped into this master's energy as you're doing your work as we're going forward for new success. So this is pure love from spirit. No way. Did you see what just came out? We will send you some miracles. We want you to go for it. We see all you are doing. I have chills. We want you to go for it. We see all you are doing. When you are a master artisan, they see, they see, we will send you some miracles. That's divine. We want you to go for it. You can accomplish it. This is your backing and support. This is a divine connection, backing support. We want you to go for it. The work that you're doing, no, we see all you are doing. They are saying you can accomplish this. Yes, keep your thoughts at the highest levels now. Look up. When you're working, this is what you're connected to, that. We will send you some miracles. We will send you some miracles. That is June. And that's why I was so excited. I mean, you can't make this up if I tried. Um, so this is gorgeous. That This is talking about master energy, the force of master energy, and you being a divine channel of that master energy here by what you're outpouring, what you're doing, how you're making things better. Wishes fulfilled, like literally, by what you're doing here. And that's the backing and support. So you stay connected to that. You stay connected to that. We want you to go for it. We see all you are doing, and we're sending you some miracles. This is about changes, advancements, and making sure you're up for it, because we are the master artisan. You can't make this up, and here are the masters, and you are the master artisan. You are the master artisan. That's why we got the eight of forces being zapped the way we have, because um, we have to do it. We see all you are doing. We want you to go for it, and we will send you some miracles. So this is June, Akashic reading for June. If you didn't see the overall for June, it was very much more the same. All these readings, it's like in different decks, it, it it's a repeating message, confirmation, explanation mark, okay? So you have master support, master's backing. They're infusing you with master's energy to literally be the master artisan, the master artisan, the master. You are the master here doing the work. So definitely, we see all you are doing. That's the masters, the divine. We see all you're doing. We want you to go for it. We will send you some miracles. Look at this. We will wish this fulfilled. <laughs> That's the miracle. I wish you all the best for June and many, many miracles. You can accomplish this. No doubt about that. Trust what you're feeling all along the way. Um, you're definitely divinely supported, backed, infused with this master's energy, this master's backing support. So be that outpouring here with the work that you're doing. Um, beautiful, beautiful. So this has been for June. I wish you all the best for June. Take care. Bye-bye.